Lil Yachty just found out that Drake is an awful friend. What up, world? It's your boy Charles Brown back again talking facts. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell. Keep sending those cash shops to CLBMG. It keeps the channel moving. Gang, guess what? I don't know if I want to outright, outright blame Drake for this, but I think it's kind of weird that everyone that attaches themselves to Drake somehow ends up on his bad side and they end up getting low-key screwed. Now, you may look at it like, okay, he had it coming and he deserved to drop Yachty. Or you may look at it like, here we go again. This dude is an awful friend and an awful human being the way Kendrick portrayed him. So I want to I want to touch on what was going on. So basically... It was reported that Little Yachty unfollowed Drake, but apparently he followed him back real quick when the fans noticed. But the fact that he unfollowed him says something. And the reason he may have unfollowed him is because of the song Super Soaker. Apparently the song that Yachty leaked himself with him and Drake with the sample, I believe it's a Christian rapper. I don't know the Christian rapper's name, but he he has a sample or it's Christian artist, right? And... They couldn't release it um, correctly because the, the guy wouldn't clear the sample. He said, you have cursing on it. If you take the cursing off, we can release. you can release the uh, song, right? So Little Yachty, before that was cleared, leaked that song to Kai Sinat, right? And Kai Sinat did this whole video where he's screaming and going nuts over the song, bugging out like it's the greatest song in the world. Some people think it was a little bit staged, but it's whatever. Kai Sinat is always screaming and yelling about something, right? Long story short, that song is now allegedly, according to DJ Academics, going to be dropped. Apparently, the sample must have been cleared, but it's going to be dropped without Little Yachty. It was Little Yachty's song in the first place, and it featured Drake. Now it's going to be Drake without Little Yachty and someone else, right? That is what people are speculating is the reason that made Lil Yachty unfollow Drake. Now, I don't know how you can release a song from a dude who brought you the song and put you on it, and now you take you take the song and release it yourself. I don't know if that's really what's going on, but apparently there's a music video and everything that's happening, and Lil Yachty's no longer involved. Now, I believe, I felt like Lil Yachty was in trouble before this even happened because he did that interview. He did an interview with Budden, and he did another interview with some other people. He didn't talk about the battle with Budden. But in, an, in another interview, I was really surprised how candid he was, basically saying that Kendrick was one of the greatest rappers and, and the Meet the Grams was an incredible record, even though he lied about Drake having a daughter. He basically was saying that no one won or lost the battle. And he really just never really kind of got behind Drake in this scenario. Now, to me personally... If you my man, I don't need you to just kiss my ass all day and just low key, just always be bigging me up, making me bigger than I am. But I don't want you dogging me. But I do want you to tell the truth. Nothing Yachty said was not was a lie, right? Drake did not win the battle. Drake, Drake lost the battle. He said he thought the battle was stupid and he thought Drake should get back out there and get into some acting and all this stuff. He just gave some honest thoughts about the battle, right? And in these honest thoughts... He praised Kendrick. I believe that Yachty really has an affection for Kendrick. I believe that Yachty is low-key in a J. Cole, a weird space where he likes both these guys. And he doesn't want to be one of these losers who starts dissing somebody that he really likes, that he has an affinity for, just because they have a beef or issue with somebody that's his man. I really believe that he really respects Kendrick. He has said that already. But in this weird rapper world with this weird rapper energy, if that man said anything about me ever in life, you can never say anything good about him or I'm going to cut you off. And that's what it feels like Drake has done. I don't know for sure, but it feels like that interview, because they were good before that interview, it appeared that they were good before that interview, right? Because Drake been rocking with this dude. They've been doing music together for quite a few years now, and Yachty was one of his biggest supporters, and he was one of Yachty's biggest supporters. He defended Yachty in a lot of scenarios. I, I never understood 
how Lil Yachty and Drake, even though their age difference is already a, an issue, because Lil Yachty's 26, Drake is 37. I never saw how these two could even be on the same wavelength. But in another realm, I never understood why Drake would musically start to adapt and adopt Lil Yachty's style and, and kind of like, you know, Kendrick said Yachty can't give you no swag, right? I never understood why he was starting to flow toward this guy. I didn't see it, but people that really rock in those circles with that kind of music was starting to say, yo, you're doing a lot of Yachty style, a lot of Yachty-ish type of flows and, 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 and these songs are starting to sound a little younger. You're appealing to a younger demographic, right? And I get it. If, if I'm a pop star and I want to stay a pop star, I realize that the, the bar gets lower and lower. You got to kind of... Kids drive pop music. I'm just going to be honest with you. That's why you don't hear a lot of pop music with a whole lot of cursing and a lot of controversy. It's pop music, they keep it simple. A lot of kids are going to sit there all day and stream pop music all over and over. So you're going to have to appeal to those fans. And when we put Drake in these levels of, oh, he sold all these records. He he's the biggest artist in the world. And yeah, because a lot of young kids like his music because it's pop. Right? And he wants to keep that edge. So how do you keep edge with young people? You either got to act young or keep young people around you or both. So him linking with Little Yachty makes all the sense in the world if you're a big conglomerate with $400 million on the line, right? So you're going to link with a younger demographic. To me, it was kind of like, I don't understand it, but I don't have $400 million on the line, so it's a different animal for me. But I feel like when Yachty... And it wasn't even critical. It wasn't even a critical type of response. It was just stating facts. He said that Drake didn't win. He said that not like us was the end of the battle. Even though Drake did drop the heart part six after night, like, not like us. He said there was no nothing after that. It was over. So by him saying that he's basically dismissing Drake's song. Which maybe in maybe in OVO land, Heart Part Six was the nail in the coffin, and he didn't need to say nothing else. And maybe over there, that that was like the coup de gras, like he ended the battle with the Heart Part Six, nothing to say no more over it. Like you know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe in that world, right? I, I'm just I'm just trying to find a common ground where it could make sense. But maybe in that world, over there, when he wrote that and said that, he was done with the battle. So in his mind, he ended it. Maybe he feels like I could go longer, I can go stronger, but I don't want to. I, I don't care anymore. And Lil Yachty said he stopped telling them things about the battle because it was negative stuff and Drake was completely checked out from the battle. After it was after Not Like Us, Yachty said he stopped telling them because everything he would tell them it was negative, he would kind of dismiss it and he didn't even want to hear it. He didn't care. So he was like, I'm all I'm if you're if you're good, I'm good. And then he moved on. So I think that by him going on that podcast. And saying in that battle, no one won, right? And and Drake fan pages jumped all over him saying, what you mean no one won, right? You're supposed to be his man. You're not defending him. You're not taking up for him. They just want you to be robotic in your defense of this guy. There is no logic that can go into it. It can't be a, a tie. It can't be the other guy won. It has to be our guy won or nothing, right? So he's under fire by these fan pages. And... I believe Lil Yachty was in a rock and a hard place because he he has to be honest with himself, right? I'm just going to be honest with you. I feel like the younger generation, low-key, doesn't really like to get out here and try to maneuver and lie. And do, I, I really feel like this, I know that I may be generalized, but I feel like they try to just be a hundred online. They just try to be as open as they can be. So he tried to be open with this thing. And I don't think Drake appreciated it. I don't know if Drake got at him behind the scenes or Drake got or didn't get at him. He just stopped. He just froze him out. But whatever happened, he took Yachty off that song. He made a whole video without him. And he's moving forward without him. He's not mentioning him. He's not doing that. He's going to do a whole album with Party Next Door. And I wouldn't be surprised if Yachty thought his album was coming with Drake. Yachty produced a lot of Drake's music and the executive produced For All the Dogs in another album. Some, some, the album before that, right? So with, with 21 Savage, he's part of the executive producer. Did music for him and everything. So he's thinking, this is my man, right? This is my friend, right? How can I rest one say? All I really wanted was a friend, right? He thought this was his friend, right? I feel like to me, if you my man, you could tell me real stuff, Right? 
if, if, if I was wrong or if, if I was in a battle and I clearly lost and I'm not delusional about it, you can go online and tell people, yeah, it, it ain't work out for, for Charles. He lost. Because I'm going to be the first to admit it, that I lost. If I'm delusional and I'm still trying to carry this torch that I won, then yeah, I'm going to get mad. But I feel like the pettiness is what we continue to see. We saw the pettiness with Future, with this whole, everything about what happened with him in Future, it came out and he didn't go to Future's video shoot and Future forgave him for that. Then he did the record with him and he, just a lot of little stuff that happened. You can go research it on YouTube. It's a whole bunch of videos. And Metro booming the same thing. A lot of these little petty things over, it ain't always over females, but sometimes it is, right? It feels like every single person, if you go back five years ago, Almost every guy that was collabing with Drake ain't collabing with him. Even Lil Wayne, they have an issue now. So when you have, if I could take 10 people, 12 industry friends, because industry friends is different. They don't have the same expectations. To piss off an industry friend, you really got to do some stuff because most of that, most of that is fake. So people know, okay. Yeah, I'll call you next week. Reach out to my manager. Da, da, hit my, your people talk to my people. It's all fake anyway. So for you to go into a fake industry and make people mad at you in a fake industry, you really doing, you really outdoing yourself. So if I have 10, 12 guys in a fake industry and they all are openly mad at me, all of them have issues with me, right? I'm the common denominator. It's something I'm doing wrong. I'm doing something to all of these people to make them link up form like Voltron and try to take me out. And low key, he's taken out right now. Right now he's doing a comeback tour. So we'll see what happens. But I feel like Lord Yachty learned, damn, I've really been rocking with this dude. It's like a Kanye thing. Kanye will dispose you within a second. It did, he'll, he'll, he'll cut you off and you won't even know why. So it's, a, it's the same thing, but a little bit worse because at least Kanye will cut you off and go on about his business. Drake going to try to do something vindictive take you off a song or block you from something or, or go bang your girl, like some other stuff, right? To get you back, to one up you. And I, I think that we, we're seeing the destruction of a man in real time. And I don't think he sees that as destruction. I think he sees it as a day in the, just another day in the life. I'll, I'll make some hit records again. And that, it's not, it ain't, this ain't that no more. This ain't even about hit records. You got to repair your reputation. You haven't come out and said a word. We got about eight, nine releases, little tracks here and there, and features in it. Not one word about the battle. You haven't said one word about nothing. And I know people are like, well, Kendrick ain't saying nothing. Well, Kendrick don't have to say nothing. He already said everything. He dragged this dude across the floor. This dude took a savage beat, and then he's still out here trying to drop music. So if you're going to drop this music, you need to address what's going on. Right? Me, personally... I wouldn't be dropping nothing but straight up records, rack by, records right back at this dude. I'm just going to be honest. If, either I'm going to quit, either I'm going to quit and act like the battle never happened, right? Which I'm not going to do because I'm not going to get in a battle without finishing the battle, right? But either I'm going to quit and act like the battle never happened or we're going to keep battling, right? I don't I don't understand the the the... the I'm just going to drop these features and just act like nothing happened. I'm going to drop 100 gigabytes and just... Everything's going to be fine. No, it's not fine. You got to re repair your reputation. This is the time for an Oprah interview. Like somebody, he need to sit down with somebody and say, well, these allegations are false. Da, da, da. Just, just something, bro. Right? Or drop some music that really hits. I, I'm going to be honest. I don't think none of the stuff. I think the one track with 21 Savage was the best track out of everything he's dropped since this battle happened. And that one track, Sound like it was already done before this happened. How long Young Thug been in jail? Young Thug is on there with 21 Savage. So the track is obviously old. So I feel like the work ain't the work ain't improving. We're not getting better music. We're not getting a sit-down interview. We're not even getting him talking about anything. He's just going on weird streamers that <laughs> suspect streamers shows and showing up in places he really shouldn't be showing up in. When we already feel that he's in inappropriate situations as is with minors, you're going on a streamer who's making minors take their top off and recording them or, or barely legal. Let's say that. 
right? Without their knowledge that they're being recorded live. I mean, just weird stuff. Don't associate your stuff with that, right? I think we're seeing a guy that's back then, he's paranoid, and everything that is said is a affront to him, and he's taking it literal, and he's cutting you off. He's like cutting everyone off, right? I feel like he's boxed in a cage with his, with his own people. And anything other than that, right? Because when the last time you really seen Drake rocking with Party Next Door? Right? I think Party Next Door has never fronted on him. And everybody else is gone. And he can't keep doing records with 21. So he ran a party. I'm going to leave it at this. I feel like Lil Yachty just got a real dose, a reality check that Drake is not a regular friendship. It's a friendship where you got to low-key kind of be doing something for him and be cheering for him and defending him at all times or you're going to get cut off. And I think Yachty found that out. And I think Yachty, Yachty's going to be all right, but he's going to hurt for a little bit, right? Because when I'm going to be honest, in 2024, when you unfollow somebody, it's hurt. That's a pain. That's a deep pain because... When you do that, you're telling them, I don't want you in my life anymore. <laughs> and that's that's when they, that's what they're basically telling you. So listen, let me know what you think in the comments. Did Yachty do something wrong by saying Kendrick is the greatest rapper alive? That's kind of hard. <laughs> but at the same time, you know what I'm saying? That's how I feel. And I don't know if he said it in those words, but I know he said it, right? Did Yachty do something wrong or is Drake being petty once again? Let me know in the comments. CLBMG. Make sure you grab some of that merch down in them uh comments down there look down there right below the video grab some of that merch from the website i appreciate you gang peace look mission impossible to drop a few lines without yeah. dropping old times when southern hill was still a gold mine with pistol grips was my shit and i sold mine when alias was not a show and they told mine elevate your mind with high quality thc infused products blackyeti.com black-yeti.com Help me.